Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, it's Tom over at Gas. Today in the workshop we've got a Nissan Navara 2017 and it's got the engine management light on it. So you may remember this uh, vehicle from a previous video where we've done some chrome ring mirror covers uh, handles and the side steps uh, the vehicles come back in we've recently put the front chrome grill on it so it just matches all in now nice little touch but anyway this video is about the engine management light so you just see there on the dash you've got the engine management light now the reason I've done the video is because when we connect the scan tool we go into Nissan, we'll just go into the control unit, engine, and then we'll go into the trouble codes. And if we have a look there, there's no trouble codes. So then what we have to do is we have to come right, right out. And then what we'll do is we'll go into the EOBD. And then we'll do an auto scan. And then we'll select diesel. And already we've got mill status on. So what we'll do is we'll go into our diagnostic trouble codes. And then we've got invalid data received from knock sensor A. So like I say, I don't know why when you go into Nissan it's not picking it up, but you have to go into the EOBD. So we'll go and have a look at our live data and we'll see if we've got any knock sensor readings I'm not sure which one A is I would assume it's the first one but we'll have a look at our actual values so we'll go down to so we got knock sensor one and two so already we can see sensor two is kind of at the default value so we'll select both of them uh, what we'll do is we'll go into the graphs So we've, I've just changed the display slightly, just so like I say, we've got bank one, sensor one, we've got our PPM reading there. So as we're revving the engine, that's, that seems to be working fine, but obviously sensor two, uh, we're just stuck on the default value there. So we've got sensor one, sensor two, can't remember what the fault code now was, but I think it was, was it knock sensor A? Not sure, we'll have another look. But what we could do now, just to confirm which one's which, is we'll stick on the ramp, we'll have a look into the vehicle and we'll unplug one of them and see if it stops our reading on the sensor one. And then we'll know for sure if it's sensor one or sensor two. So I'll get that on the ramp and we'll check that out now. So underneath the vehicle, we've got our first knock sensor right there, and then we've got the second knock sensor further back. Uh, it just sits up there. Now we've got a fault with sensor two, and first thoughts, I would think that the rear one's the sensor two. But what we'll do is we'll unplug that one first, 
to see if our readings remain the same. So that's sensor two unplugged. And just as expected, still on the default value on sensor two. So it looks like we have got rear sensor out. Front one's still working. What I'll do just to confirm is I'll unplug the first one and then we'll just check that that reading does stop. And yet, default value on the first one again. So we can safely say that the second one is at fault. I'll plug the first one back in. Gone to zero. I'm not sure. We'll probably have to cycle the ignition for that to kick in again. But we're definitely going to need the rear knock sensor on this vehicle. But I hope you found this short video useful. Like I say, we've got a 2017 Nissan Navara NP300 um, engine management light on, no fault codes if you go in through Nissan. But if we go in the EOBD, we've got our fault code in there. So the fault description was for the knock sensor, and then it's just determine which one it is. So obviously you stick it on the ramp, get underneath the vehicle, unplug each sensor separately and then hopefully like I say with the live data we can see the readings so this one just needs a one I think from this and they're about 400 pound the knock sensors so we just want to make sure obviously we ordered the right one um, both same price but different part numbers I think the rear one cables probably slightly longer but hope you found this short video useful and we'll see you on the next one